I have a confession. I don't know how to make an intro, but that doesn't matter because what I do know how to do is build go-karts, and that's exactly what we're about to do in part two of the 150cc shifter cart build. So we've got another issue, and that issue is this. This piece of axle left over from the old axle, it won't come out. I tried hammering on this thing for probably a total of, I don't know, maybe half an hour straight of hammering. It ain't moving. It's all mushroomed out and everything. I've hit on this thing so much, it don't move. So I'm gonna do something I'm probably gonna regret. And that is to take this, put it on top of my pipe bender, and build some sort of apparatus to hold the wheel so that I can jack up on it and press it out. And I might not die, I don't know. So my basic plan is to take the side with the longer bit of axle and put that right above the jack on the hydraulic ram. Then I can take this piece of thick angle iron and I can put that on top because I, I, I don't, I think this is the strongest piece of metal I have. I don't think it's gonna bend. And then I have this super freaking crappy piece of flat bar and I can cut two sections out of this and just kind of bolt it here on both sides as close as I can get to the wheel and hopefully this will not explode. Okay, this is very literally the scariest thing I have ever decided to make. And that's coming from someone planning on putting a Kawasaki 600 on a go-kart. I'm fearing for my life right now. This thing is like a time bomb of redneck engineering. I'm gonna wear some thick safety glasses for this. And we're just gonna hope that this contraption, which I call the machine, will actually work. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Please just push out. <laughs> The angle iron is bending. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, yep, no dice. My school has a hydraulic press, but I don't know if it's big enough to fit this whole freaking wheel. I don't know if that's gonna come off. I think we're gonna just bend this. Your game. Well, let's heat it some more. Well, that was a fail. I ordered a new rim. I'll get here in like three days. That's kind of disappointing. Yep, well, that didn't work at all. This piece of axle is entirely stuck in there more than anything I've ever seen before. And if an eight pound sledgehammer and a ton of heat didn't get it out, nothing's gonna get it out. So I just ordered a new rim. That rim should get here in two or three days. And then we can put that tire back on the new rim, put those on the go-kart. But for now, check this out. I remember that I actually have these wheels from the buggy and they go on a one inch axle. So this happened. I think it's pretty obvious that this is gonna make the gearing entirely wrong. It'll be ridiculously fast and not have much torque, but I just want to take it for a test drive, so all we need to do is clutch and gas pedal and then just slap a seat on it somehow, and we can take this for a test drive, and then when I get the new rim, we can put the actual tires on. something I'm probably gonna regret. This is actually the exhaust pipe from the XL500 for the buggy. Um, it sort of, kind of, got itself onto this one. I don't have an exhaust for this engine yet, so I slapped this thing on there. And I'm gonna do something I'm probably gonna regret, and that is to cut off the second header so that the engine will fit. And later on I can just weld it back on, I guess. But I wanna drive this thing, and the sun's gonna go down pretty soon, so I'm just gonna chop that off and hope it's all right. just kind of slapped together. I just kind of went back and just welded stuff that wasn't welded. Took half the wiring harness off and by some miracle the thing still has spark. It's all just zip tied on there. I have a gas tank duct tape to the seat. Uh, clutch is done. For gas I just have this thing that I'll just control with my thumb like this. 
it'll be fine. Shifter's hooked up, we have wheels, wheels are tightened down, steering, uh, clutch brake. So I'm just gonna fire it up and see how it works here and go through all the gears, make sure it's working, and then we can set it down, take it for a test drive. Might seem like I haven't really showed that much, but there wasn't really that much to show, so yeah, anyway. So several things are wrong. One, obviously the gearing is way too tall. It's like impossible to take off. It'll do like 20 miles an hour in first gear. Uh, two, the engine is not running right. It's running super lean. Uh, so it's backfiring a ton and doesn't have that much power. Three, I just suck at driving manual because I've never done it before. But now we know what to fix. Was that a success? I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. So I'm going to take this thing up to my testing field now and just kind of get a feel for it again. Last night I got a little bit of practice, but that wasn't very good. Um, so I have hooked up a throttle pedal with a piece of electrical wire. I didn't show me doing that because you guys would absolutely annihilate me in the comments. Also, last night something I noticed is that it was like impossible to turn because of how gigantic the tires are with no differential. So I took the key out of this tire so this tire doesn't actually drive or stop. It's basically just one wheel drive right now but that'll make it at least turn. And that's basically all I did. It is drivable. It's a little sketchy still. The brakes are like almost non-existent, but it's fine. We'll just go up to the field. So on my way up here, right down there, just before this field, the tripod that I was carrying up here fell onto the throttle wire that I have right here and held the throttle wide open. I almost died. Somehow I managed to start going in circles and reach back and hit the choke to kill it because I don't have a kill switch yet. I'm really stupid. <laughs> Please don't do any of this. Do it right before you drive it. I was kind of in a hurry because the sun is like, it's basically sunset right now and I need a little bit of light to do this. But that was heckin' scary, but nothing broke. The engine was revving like crazy, but it's still fine. Drove the rest of the way here. So yeah, do, do, do stuff the right way the first time. Don't try any of this. That was extremely stupid and ignorant of me. And I think I'm lucky to still be here. So anyway, with that aside, let's take this thing for a little test drive.
can really hear how it's running lean. Well, I think that about sums it up for part two of the shifter car build. Uh, it performs okay. It's not great. It's really sketchy still, but at least it's drivable. Uh, in the next video, I will have the new rim and we can put the real tires back on it, not these absolute behemoths. But this video is long enough how it is, so I'm going to have to end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay.